behind the show. As House and Senate lawmakers continue to spar over whether the government-run health care option will work, our next guest has seen her state's government try to try its hand at universal coverage. Republican Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee is a member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee, and she joins us live from Nashville. Representative Blackburn, thanks for joining us. Now, what happened in Tennessee, and what did you learn from the experience? In Tennessee, we have TenCare, and in 1994, this was the test case for public option health care. And what we learned very quickly is that a $2 billion program became an $8 billion program. It, it continued to eat up every new dollar of revenue that was coming into the state. We saw a tremendous amount of cost shifting take place, and you saw the rates, the insurance rates of private insurance go through the roof. You saw the cost go up in the state. Uh, we began to see our hospitals uh, have problems with reimbursement rates. Our physicians and providers had problems with reimbursement rates. And as one physician said to me during uh, the days we were working so diligently on the TenCare funding, the reimbursement rates were low and they came in slow. And that uh, persisted throughout. We also uh, saw what happened with TenCare, which was a gold plated insurance program, the free insurance, the public option. We saw people that had private insurance move over to that public option insurance. Right. Indeed, 55 percent of those that moved on to the TenCare rolls were those that were uninsured. The other 45 percent of those that were migrating from private insurance well, onto the public rolls. Well, it sounds like there were, there were myriad problems and it got very expensive. Now, the, uh, the president's yes. health care czar actually knows a lot about what happened in Tennessee, does she not? Well, I would hope that she does, and my, my hope has been that the czar and that the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Secretary Sebelius, would be looking at TenCare for lessons learned because of the similarities between the program that is being offered now and the fact that TenCare was that first test case out of the gate, if you will, and that there are lessons that have, should have been learned from 1994 going forward on this program. Right. Indeed we know that in order to bring the cost under uh, into a more manageable situation for the state, for the legislature who cannot tweak the program because it's a Medicaid delivery right. program, but who are charged with the cost, one of the things they've had to do is remove people from the rolls because right. with our 800,000 Medicaid eligible in the state, the rolls, the enrollment uh -huh. into TenCare uh, went to about 1.4 million. Well, Representative so they Blackburn, have we're going to have to leave it right there, but I think the lessons learned are we need to look very carefully about what we step off into. Absolutely. We do okay. not want the perils of ten care to be forced on the nation. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. So what do you think about the health care debate? On our website, we ask you, are you worried about what the presidential health care proposal could mean for your current health care plan? Forty-three percent said yes. Twenty-four percent said no. Thirty-three percent said somewhat. To weigh in, go to foxnews.com forward slash America's News Headquarters.